Yo, what's good on the Wolf Pack? Elf of the Pack right here. And um in this video I'm gonna be talking about three sept three separate chapters of Eden Zero. 103, 104, and 105. Okay. And now chapter 103, which I think is called War across the cosmos or war in the cosmos something like that um not much went down you know as the title implies um there was somewhat of a battle between eden's one and eden zero and eden's one was proving it was proven to be a superior ship it was pro it was proven to be the superior ship to Eden Zero because there was not much Shiki and the crew could do against it because Ziggy and his Dark Stars really had the crew pinned down. He was bombarding them with missiles. He had a, a army of robot bees attacking the ship. He 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 was giving the crew on Eden Zero a hard, hard time. Right. Um. There was a moment where uh Captain Connor were, was hesitant on um attacking Eden Zero. Right? Cause he was like, Oh, there is women and children aboard that ship and Ziggy ordered him to strike them down and he didn't want to do that. But the Dark Star started pressuring him to listen to Ziggy and attack and so he did. But I I get the feel, I get the vibe that Connor isn't necessarily okay with this whole war, this campaign that Ziggy's on, even though he even though he said he joined Ziggy because he liked his ideals, I get the feeling that Captain Connor isn't okay with what Ziggy's doing, so maybe Captain Connor might join Shiki and a crew. I I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking it might lead to that actually because he he really didn't seem to be okay with with battling against Shiki, even though I guess in this timeline he doesn't know Shiki and the crew. You know, Rebecca knows him obviously, but he doesn't know he doesn't know them, all right? But um that's I I I I'm not really picking up picking up a whole villainous vibe from Connor. I the, the whole style doesn't even really seem to suit him. Um, you know, Captain Connor being a villain, so I think he might join Shiki and the crew again <laughs> um down the line i will see about that but um yeah not much really to go on in this chapter um lc crimson showed up um she helped out shiki and the crew um while they were being bombarded bar bar by missiles and um one of ziggy's dark stars wizard i think his name is now that i got a bit now that i got a better look at him the, now that I got a better look at them, the dark stars do look pretty interesting. They look decent. They don't look as... I, w I, w I was hating on them <laughs> a few weeks back, but now that we got a better look at them, they look decent. They look all right. They still don't got nothing on my girls, though, but they look all right. Wizard looks the best out of all the dark stars. You know, out of the, the clown and, I think, two machines. There's two machine dark stars that I can't really tell. I can't really tell. I can't really see what they look like. I, I, I don't really know how to describe how they look. They just look like strange machines. But two of the Duck Stars are, are a clown. And, and one just kind of look like a real cool wizard. Which I guess why his name is Wizard, right? <laughs> so, um, they look decent, you know. But they still don't got nothing on my girls. But, uh, LC Crimson showed up, you know, saved the day. Um... She uh, stopped the uh, miniature robot bees that Ziggy sicked on. That, that Ziggy sicked on the crew. You know, she took them out, and they were able to evade a cannon that Connor was gonna fire at them with the uh, Eden's one. So, um, she showed up and saved the day, and she said she was gonna board the uh, Eden Zero once, so once Ziggy left. You know, because he decided not to fight Elsie. Uh, so she decided that she was gonna board. Elsie decided that she was gonna board the Eden Zero to talk to them about Ziggy, you know. So um, I'm gonna read that chapter and I'm gonna give my thoughts on that. But I just want to give a little brief summary of went down 
in chapter 103 because, you know, like I said, not much happened. It was kind of just like short little beast battle. Um, there was a moment where uh, Witch, Ivory, and the Hermit were trying to talk some sense was trying to talk some sense into Ziggy, you know, asking him why is he attacking him? Why why was he attacking him? He was a good guy. He wanted peace between um, humans and machines, and they were really trying to get him to explain why it was that he was why it was that he was doing what he was doing. And he just he just kind of gave us like you know that classic evil villain smirk. He didn't really explain anything, right? So still no answers as to why is Ziggy evil now. Um, there was a moment where, um, Re Rebecca was trying to activate her cat leaper, her, her rewind time and ability, but couldn't, and that's when Elsie showed up. Um, so it seems that Rebecca can't activate her ether gear at will now. And there was another thing I wanted to point out, which was, um, Shiki was very hesitant to order which to fight back against Ziggy. He was ves he was very hesitant to um fight against Ziggy, you know, because obviously Z Ziggy raised him, right? And I was concerned for a moment. I thought he would there was going to be the whole thing of Ziggy uh, of of Shiki, excuse me. I thought there was going to be the whole thing of Shiki refusing to fight Ziggy because he was raised by him. But I'm like, yo, even though he's like a father figure to you, in a sense, you have to fight back. If somebody is trying to kill you, trying to kill your friends, you have to fight back. Forget all of that family type stuff. You have to go. And you have you have to go out. You have to go all out. You can't hold back. You can't be soft. And I was really worried that Shiggy just wasn't going to do anything. But luckily, he snapped out of his days when the ship was just... When, when Eden's Judah was just getting blasted on and everyone was trying to tell him to order them to fight back and he, he snapped out of it and finally ordered um, the crew to start firing back at the Eden's one and I, I, I was very happy to see that because I didn't want Shiki to go down this path of oh oh he, he's an ally I don't want to fight him I, I'm just I'm glad he, he stepped up and made a decision as a leader and decided to just start popping off back at them you know what I'm saying because in, in that type of situation, whether someone's a friend or not, or if someone was a friend or not, or a family member, if they're trying to kill you, you have to fight back. So I was glad to see that Shiki, you know, stepped up and, you know, made, made the call, made the order to fight back instead of just standing there and, and hesitating, right? Because I, I was really worried that's the route that he was going to take, so I'm glad to see that didn't happen. But, um... Uh... Yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's basically all I had to say. It wasn't a very interesting chapter, just a short battle in space. LC Crimson came along and helped the crew out when they were struggling, you know, saved them because it looked like they were going to get taken out by Eden's one. Um, yeah, that was basically it. I'm going to jump into chapter 104 in a second, all right? Yo, so. Chapter 104, The Woman They Call a Pirate. Yo, so, um, this chapter, it, w it was more entertaining than chapter 103, right? It, it was, it was more entertaining than, uh, The War Across the Cosmos. Um, so, uh, the chapter starts off, it starts off with, uh, Rebecca, Hamora, and Elsie chilling in the spa of Eden's. <laughs> chilling in the hot tub, right? You know, uh, so, just jumping right into it. First, the girls are just chatting, chilling. Rebe Rebecca is somewhat complaining about how Elsie just barged up, just barged from the ship and entered their entered their spa area. And, um, Hamora challenges Elsie to a fight because she hears that Elsie is, is pretty capable at fighting, right? So, Hamora challenges Elsie and, uh, she she uh, she pulls out her ether gear. She pulls out her ether blade, and Hamora's just and uh, Elsie's just chilling, sitting down, looking up at Hamora. And Hamora's all like, "You're not gonna stand up," and she's all like, "No, nah, I'm good. Just come at me." <laughs> Basically, she says, "I'm good. Just come at me." So Hamora swings her blade at Elsie, and she blocks it with her toes. <laughs> she 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 blocks she. she she blocks a blade with her toes and just 
fling Samora. <laughs> just, just fling Samora across the room, dog. It just, just, it was hilarious. It was, oh my god, okay. I don't know why that was so funny to me. It just was. Uh, so, Hamora goes flying. There was this whole moment where Hamora bows to Elsie because, you know, she realized that she was really strong. And uh, Elsie jokingly said, ask Rebecca. Elsie jokingly asked Rebecca if she wanted to challenge her. And Rebecca was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I, I don't want the smoke. <laughs> so, so, uh, let, let me just say, I really, I, I, I really enjoyed how this how this chapter looked. I think it was like drawn really well. Like, we already know what Hero, Hero can draw, right? Hero does. Hero's art is great, right? But I just really, really enjoyed how this chapter was drawn. Specifically, I really loved how my boy Shiki was look. I don't know why, but Shiki looks really good in this chapter. No homo. <laughs> Shiki just looked, he looked like, he looked really well drawn. I can't explain it, but he just looked, it, it's like, I, I don't, I can't explain it, though. Shiki just looked really good in this chapter, pause. But, uh, so, um, moving on, um, Elsie talks to the crew, you know, she's, she's talking to, uh, you know, witch Ivory Hermit, why, she's talking to the crew, right, and, um, she talks about how Ziggy took her in, and about how she was. She talks about how she was homeless from a war, and how Ziggy took her in, and how he raised her. She talked about how <laughs> when she uh, when she first joined the ship, she was able to hold her own against uh, how she was able to hold her own against Valkyrie, and how when Ziggy brought Shiki in, how she changed his diapers, <laughs> right? And so. She she also talked about how Ziggy gave her the ship and how he wanted her to give Sneaky the ship once he got into outer space, right? And uh, she also gives her condolences to the crew about Valkyrie dying. And um, she talks about when Ziggy died, when when uh, she talks about how when Ziggy when Ziggy died, she went to his grave, you know, to uh, to to visit her to talk about how she gave Sneaky the ship. How, about how she gave Shiki Eden Zero, right? And um, she says how when she went to his grave, she felt like this this dark ether, this like evil energy emitting from Ziki, right? And so she left a fairy drone there, you know, in case something happened with Ziggy. And when Ziggy woke up, she heard his first words, and his first words were basically, I will go to mother. Right, so we have an overall goal. We have an overall idea of what Ziggy's gonna do. He wants to meet Mother. You know, when you meet Mother, you get you get a wish, right? We don't know what this wish is. We just know that he's going to uh to, to he's going to Mother. So Shiki was all like, "We're gonna go after Ziggy. We're gonna go after Ziggy, and I'm gonna kick his butt." <laughs> I'm glad to see that Shiki is not gonna I'm glad to see that Shiki is taking it seriously. I'm glad to see that he's he's not holding back. He's he he's gonna do what he has to. He's gonna fight Ziggy. I'm I'm real glad he's not going down the road of he's not going down the the road of oh um he he's my father figure, he's an ally, we gotta save him. He's all like, oh I'm gonna have to I'm gonna take him down if I need to. So I like that. I, I, I hate when, when an ally, I hate how in stories when an ally turns and the heroes are like, oh, I don't want to fight you. He, he, he's a friend. I, I can't fight him. I, I, I hate that. So I'm really glad. I'm really glad heroes writing Shiki in a way into which he just does what he needs to do. He, he's not, he's not hesitating at all. He's like, all right, this happened. I got to handle it. I, I really appreciate that. I like that. So... Shiki and the crew was already going to go to Mother after they got through the Dragon Falls. And so, since Ziggy is going there, it's like um, killing two birds with one stone because they already got to deal with Ziggy. So, since Ziggy's going over there, they get to deal with them and go talk to Mother. So, <laughs> killing two birds with one stone, right? So, 
Shiki's all like, oh, we're, so Shiki's all like, since Ziggy's going to mother, we're going to go after him, and I'm going to kick his butt, <laughs> right? And everybody, everybody's on a crew, you know, seemingly is fine, it was all like, seemingly they were all fine with that idea. And, um, Elsie left after that. She was all like, I, Elsie was all like, oh, my life to Ziggy, so I'm going to go after him. And if you're ready, when you're ready, Shiki, you can follow me, you know. And so it looks like they're going to be competing. Well, not competing. Well, I guess somewhat competing to see who gets to Ziggy first, you know, because Elsie seems like she wants to deal with Ziggy. But I kind of more so, I kind of want Shiki to deal with them. Shiki definitely has more... Of a, of a relationship with Ziggy than Elsie does, so I, I kind of want Shiggy, Shiggy, I kind of want Shiki to handle him more so than Elsie, but uh, we'll see what happens to that. Um, the chapter ended with the crew getting ready to go through, the chapter ended with the crew getting ready to go through the Dragon Falls, and I am really, I can't wait to see how that goes now, I'm really interested in, in what happens once they attempt to enter the Dragon Falls. The chapter's out, gonna do a review on that but as for this video I just wanted to talk about chapters 103 and 104 and I'll do chapter 105 later on all right I know I said I was gonna do it all in one video but I don't want this video to be too long so chapter 105 just gonna be a separate video entirely all right um peace hope you all enjoyed this video even though it wasn't the best but I, I wanted to talk about chapters 103 and 104 before I talked about 105. Alright, so I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.